City Heights, a man was killed when he got stuck inside of a donation bin. Overnight, a man managed to become trapped inside that little donation bin. A man trying to keep warm gets stuck inside of a clothing donation bin and he does not make it through the bitterly cold night. Just this past summer in Los Angeles, a man got stuck and suffocated, climbing partially inside to fish items out of the bin. For most, the thought of doing anything more than putting clothing into a donation bin may never occur. But for some, the promise of free clothing or a sheltered place to sleep is what draws them to the idea of climbing inside. Unfortunately for these people, most clothing bins aren't designed with this in mind. Over the years, many of these people have become stuck while trying to retrieve items from inside the bin. And on many unfortunate occasions, these people lose their lives. This design flaw was brought to mass awareness in Vancouver during this past summer when a woman died with her torso stuck inside the door of a donation bin. This was the breaking point for many citizens, which spurred a call for safer donation bins to be engineered. Today, we answer that call. We wanted to create a donation bin that remained simple to use for the people donating clothes and the people collecting them. With a plexiglass strip on the side of the bin, Samaritans can call the number written when they see that the bin is full and in need of emptying. The large sliding drawer allows people to dispense their clothing in one trip, no matter their load, and the expansive lower door opens to make unloading of the bin as easy as possible. However, what makes this bin truly special is its ability to save lives. When developing a solution to this problem, we identified three key elements to satisfy. The first was to ensure that our design would be cost efficient. When working with nonprofits and a project that could cost them tens of thousands of dollars, it is paramount that you not spend more than you need to. The second element was to make sure that these bins could stand up to the abuse of the world and of its users by being robust and reliable, so as not to require constant maintenance. Finally, we needed to create something that could be space efficient. When implementing a device such as this into a city, its footprint is crucial, as one too big could mean it never sees the streets. All three of these elements were satisfied by coming upon a simplistic design with few moving parts that utilized mechanisms known to be reliable and long lasting. The drawer slides out horizontally on ball bearings, allowing it to be loaded from the top. Since the drawer's motion is not dictated by gravity, this makes it much harder to get stuck in between the drawer and the bin enclosure. Inside the drawer is a floor analogous to a garage door, which can fold up when clothes are being dispensed. When the weight inside the drawer is below the specified limit, the floor will open up as the drawer is pushed in. However, if the weight is above what's desired, the floor will stay shut as the drawer is closed, therefore making it impossible to get inside. This is achieved by connecting the back end of the floor to a hydraulic piston. If the weight inside the drawer is small, it will not be able to overcome the static friction of the piston and therefore will remain extended, pushing the floor open. When the weight inside creates a force on the floor that can overcome the static friction of the piston, the piston will compress and not open the drawer. What makes this mechanism virtually infallible is its ability to lock if somebody were to attempt at pulling the floor open while inside the drawer. The piston at the back of the floor is connected to a piston on the side of the bin. When the first piston is compressed due to a weight higher than it can push, the fluid will extend the second piston upwards and over top of a notch on the side of the drawer. With the second piston positioned over this notch, it makes it impossible to pull the floor out once the drawer has been closed. The simplicity of this design alone allows the cost of the bin to be reduced exponentially compared to other mechanisms that may employ more complex solutions. However, what truly makes it remarkable is that retrofitting old clothing bins would be as simple as cutting out the old drawer and welding or bolting on the new one. All dimensions could be easily adapted to any clothing bin design, and with a few bolts and welds, an old clothing bin could be transformed into one that saves lives.